Hi friends! Today we're going to go over my TBR for the Fantasy of Vaughn. Fantasy of Vaughn is a readathon that runs from December 13th through the 22nd and it is hosted by Maddie at The Book Pusher and I will link her original video in the description box below so that you can check out the full scale of the fantasy a -thon. Today I'm going to give you my overly ambitious TBR and uh, when we get to the end of it we'll discuss that a little more. So the first challenge is to read a diverse book and for that I chose Heirs of Fate by Amara Luciano and this is actually three novellas in a bind up that follow these three lovely ladies just in different aspects of their world and different things that are going on and obviously you can tell from the cover that at least two of them do not look like me so I'm counting that as diverse. The next challenge is to read a diverse or a backlist title and for that I chose Linker by Maggie Stiefvater. This is the second book in the Shipper trilogy which I read the first book earlier this year so I'm trying to get this one finished before the end of the year. Wish me luck. This series follows a girl who has always been fascinated with the wolves that run through the woods behind her house and was even attacked by them as a child and basically just goes over her obsession and what it means and it's there's werewolves. The next challenge is to read a book that is part of a series or I believe the actual prompt is to start a si finish a series. It's something to do with a series. I didn't write the whole thing down. I just wrote down part of a series. I know that's not the full prompt but I digress. The book that I chose for that is Seeker by Kim Chance. It is the follow-up to Keeper. Also by Kim Chance. Imagine that. And the book follows a girl who discovers that she is responsible for keeping the magic of her family line safe and goes against like a big bad that wants to um, capture her family's magic essentially. I had an arc of this book. I have talked about it several times on my channel that I've been trying to read it and I still have not read it so it has now made it to this readathon. The next challenge is to read a hype train book. I don't know that this is like super hype train or if it counts because it's the second book in a series but I'm counting it. You'll be fine. The book I chose is The Heart of Betrayal by Mary E. Pearson. This is the second book in the Remnant Chronicles. I do feel like this series is talked about a lot on booktube. Uh, maybe not this year but last year and the year prior because that's where I learned about this series from is from booktube. So I feel like that's acceptable. I am currently at the second book of the Remnant Chronicles. This series follows a princess who is being forced to marry a prince from another kingdom just to kind of mend the waters between the two kingdoms so that they can fight against a third kingdom that is basically considered barbarians and are out to just slaughter and murder everyone and rather than marry the prince she runs away on her wedding day and this book follows her and both the prince and another character from the third kingdom that are both trying to um, lure her back home but she does not know who they are when she meets them and we as the readers do not know which one of them is which which makes for a very interesting plot and the way that the story works because you don't know which dude is which dude the whole time. It was spoiled for me and I knew which dude was which dude but still enjoyed it. This is the second book. I've talked about it for 20 minutes now. Cool. The next challenge is to read a book that you have not finished whether it was a DNF or something that you've just put down and haven't picked up again and for that I chose Scythe by Neil Schusterman. I started reading this book in August maybe? I've been reading it. Um, I've got several different bookmarks in it from where I've been reading it trying to get through it. I read a lot of it sitting in the hospital waiting on my sister to get out of appointments. Probably shouldn't read a book with the Grim Reaper on the cover when you're in the oncology ward of the hospital. Probably. I don't know. But that was a thing I did. It's fine. Uh yeah so <laughs> Scythe, Neil Schusterman. This book is about a world where in the future they have basically cured all illnesses and your body, I believe, if I remember correctly, that they, there's either something that they give you or something that's already inside of your body that makes you start to immediately heal if you have like a life-threatening injury. I don't remember the exact way that they do that because it's been like a month or two since I've put this down but and essentially there's no way to die and in order to control population the government system comes up with scythes which are basically the only people who are permitted to kill 
and they go around and decide who should die and they kill those people and so far from what I have read of this book basically is kind of talking about the ethics and the morality behind that and it's very interesting. Next is to read a book in a format that you typically do not read and for that I will be reading Grave Maidens on my ebook. Ebook is almost always the format that I typically don't read because I don't read a lot of ebooks. They're not my favorite. I have an e arc of Grave Maidens which actually came out in November and I still haven't read it yet. But I would like to get to very soon so I decided to put that on here. Grave Maidens is about a girl who lives in a world where when a king is going to die he is given essentially these girls to marry so that he can take them to the grave with him so that he'll always have a wife because history is some fucked up shit. Uh, the main character, her sister, is chosen to be one of these Grave Maidens to be buried with the king when he dies or the young prince when he dies. I don't remember if he's a king or a prince. Either way, he's an asshat who's going to die. And because he's going to die, he's going to make three other young women die with him because that's the way the world works. And basically it follows her trying to infiltrate the world and to both heal the prince and or king and also save her sister from being buried alive, essentially, which I hope they kill them first. I hope they don't bury them alive. I've read some really weird barbarian shit where like when the husband dies and they burn his body, they would throw the wife on top of the fire perfectly alive and burn her alive too. And that's historically accurate. That's a fucked up world that we've lived in. No one's gonna be around to take care of her so you might as well just toss her on the fire too. Get rid of her dumbass. Okay, anyway, moving on. The next challenge is to read a host's favorite which in Maddie's thing. She has all of those listed. I chose to read one of Juliet Pages and Pen's favorites, which is Rules for Vanishing. I heard her talk about it on her channel earlier this year. It sounded super interesting. Don't really remember what it was about at this point. Basically about a girl that vanishes. And the cover looked really cool and spooky, so I decided that I wanted to read it. And the final challenge is to read The Buddy Read, which is Winterwood by Shay Earnshaw. I have read The Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw, and I did enjoy that. I just had some problems with it but I also enjoyed it and um, I really like her style of writing. I actually don't even know what Winterwood is about. I haven't even read the synopsis but it is pretty and shiny and I like the way that she does her world building and her atmospheric stuff so I'm excited to get to that even though I know that Julie who loved The Wicked Deep did not like Winterwood so I'm kind of bummed on that but we'll see what happens. So now we're gonna get to the explanation part of this TBR. I know you're all looking at me going, Jessica, you've been reading two to three books a month and you just picked eight books to read in 10 days. Are you crazy? First off, yes, very crazy. Second off, not only am I halfway through Scythe, I'm at like 54%. I'm also already halfway through The Heart of Betrayal and Linger because I was reading this for previous readathons earlier this year that I didn't finish them. Um, so I'm 50%, at least 50% through all three of those. And Heirs of Fate is actually three separate books bound up into one physical copy so I can also read only one of these and that would count. Now if I have time I'll probably go back and read the other two but I'll probably figure out which one is the shortest and just read that in a super cheaty way. Also I think my life is back to normal now. I think that you know my sister has moved back home. She's able to drive so she's taking care of the niece and she's going back to work. I think things are going back into place so I'm trying to catch up with a lot of things that I haven't finished yet this year. I've got a few books on the shelf behind me that still need to be finished which don't really work for either of the readathons this month so they're just gonna get crammed in somewhere else. But yeah I have a lot of things I want to finish and so I'm gonna really try to get some stuff done during my readathons this month and whoo pray for me. Okay thanks. So that's about half of my TBR for the Fantasy-a-thon. Uh, again, wish me luck. If you've read any of these and you have any thoughts about them, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know which I should prioritize in case, you know, I don't make it to all eight of them in 10 days. Who knows what's going to happen? I will probably prioritize the ones that I already have finished because that would be the easiest thing to do, but who knows? Not me. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos on Mondays and Wednesdays and bonus videos on the weekends. So if you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!